Today I've got some of the incredibly popular YouTuber Danny Phantom's mystery packs. We purchased two of his fanny packs. We're going to open them up and see if they're worth it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you. God loves you. That there is an awesome plan for your life. That's right. Today we have purchased a couple of Danny Phantom's fanny packs. Now these are really, really exciting because there's seven packs in each of these and Danny has gone through this whole process of basically explaining to people that he's not trying to make a ton of money on these. We went ahead and purchased two of these because I wanted to check them out and see what they're all about. And I did buy these from an account that is associated with Dr. Applesauce in no way, shape, or form. So there is zero way that Danny could know that these came uh, to me. And just so for posterity, so everybody knows I'm not sponsored or anything like this, I bought these with my own money because I really like Danny Phantom. I like his videos. Uh, he inspires me to be a better content creator. I really enjoy the way that he does things. Uh, and I wanted to buy these packs and see what they're all about. Uh, and the fact that they're $27 each and you get seven packs means you're basically getting your value. So let's see what we've got inside. Let's see if uh, if we hit anything nice. Let's see how the uh, you know how the value works out for us. So let's check out our seven packs in the first one. So we got an Astral Radiance. We got a Paldea Evolved, an Obsidian Flames, a Lost Origin. All right, a Silver Tempest. Oh, nice Pokemon 151, and an original Sun and Moon. Okay, hey, I'm not mad about that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs for 27 bucks. So this is one of the standard ones that you can get. Like I said, there's a couple different tiers where you can get some of the stuff that you know maybe is a little bit older and a little bit nicer. Uh, and this is one of the more standard ones. So let's go ahead and rip these seven and uh, and see what we we find. All right, Astral Radiance. We could hit some cool alt arts in Astral Radiance. I don't know, guys. Drop me a comment down. Below. Let me know if you have purchased uh, any of Danny Phantom's mystery packs or if you enjoyed if you enjoy Danny Phantom's content I'd love to know down in the comments below. All right, so we're going into what was this? Uh, Astral Radiance. I had to look at the pack that I threw on the ground. So Drip Loon, Sudowoodoo, uh, Uxy, and an Arcanine. That is a big old whiffer of a pack right there. Gape Draw Bog and Spicy Seasoned Curry. I'll go ahead and give that code card out. Whoop to you guys today. I typically do keep my code cards and because I play at the uh, Pokemon trading card game, but uh, we'll give the code cards out to you guys today. All right, Paldea Evolved. Plenty of fun and good hits in Paldea Evolved. And I want, like I said, I want to know what you guys think if you've ever purchased any of these. And I'm really inspired by Danny Phantom. I love his content. He's, uh, he's a really kind dude. I inspire to be kind and generous like he is. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy my content and enjoy his content. So for me, this was a way to support a creator that I like uh, and to check out some mystery packs that I think are really cool and that are his way of making mystery packs that aren't garbage is the way that he put it. All right, we got a Saguaro, an Abomasno Reverse, and a Rabska. All right, so we got two whiffers right off the bat. But to be honest with you, this first mystery pack, seven packs, $27, $28.00. You can't go wrong at that price point. And there's a Pokemon 151 pack in it, which is super cool. All right, Lost Origin. Come on, Daddy really, 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 really wants an English alt art Giratina. We got Bronzor, Electric, Ghastly, uh, Binnacle. Ooh, Radiant Gardevoir. Hey, that's not a bad hit right there. All right, we'll take a Radiant Gardevoir. Very nice. And behind is a Gliscor Hollow. Nada. Lost Vacuum is a good card. Very playable. Relicanth and Nuzleaf. Okay, Obsidian Flames. All right. I've opened quite a bit of Obsidian Flames. Went to an Obsidian Flames pre-release and opened a, a bit at the pre-release, and I have not pulled a single Nary 1 Charizard from Obsidian Flames. Not even the regular EX. Let's <laughs> see if that luck can change today. Lilypup, Toxel, Charcadet, Ponyard, Oinkulone, Lunatone. We got a Poppy. Uh, hey, look, there's Phantom. How, how, how funny. We're opening Danny Phantom's fanny packs and we pull a reverse hollow Phantom. <laughs> hey, Kleppa! I just pulled this card the other day. I went to a casual um, tournament at my locals on Friday where they were allowing us all to test out, uh, you know, decks with 151. And out of my prizing, I actually pulled a Cleffa. So now I have two Cleffas, nice. And a Mel Metal EX. Nobody cares about you, Mel Metal EX. Nobody cares about Mel, no, I mean, some people care about Mel Metal EX. Mel Metal, are you even playable? Let's look at you, Metabolize. Search your deck for two basic Metal Energy. Attach them to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. Full Metal Knuckle. Attack does 30 more damage for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. 90. Okay, that's not bad. So you're doing uh, a standard of 210. Okay, that's actually not terrible. 
but uh, the Cleffa is much better. I went from having never pulled a Cleffa to pulling two, <laughs> two Cleffas <laughs> in the span of three or four days. How funny is that? Speaking of going to locals and playing Pokemon, do any of you guys play Pokemon? Silver Tempest, come on, Alt Art Lugia. If you play Pokemon, let me know. Uh, I'd love to know how many people are actually playing Pokemon. My goal for the 2024 Pokemon season is to top eight in either a cup or, or a regional would be nice. But if I can top eight in a local cup, that is my goal for 2024 season, and uh, I'll be really, really happy. Beldum, all right, we got a Dragonite Reverse into an Articuno Hollow, Womp Womp Womp, Arkin, Hypno, Claydol, and I'm just going through all of them, seeing if there's any, you know, anything fun and playable. All right, three hits so far. Um, Sun and Moon Base. Can we even hit anything good out of Sun and Moon Base? I think, no, nah, there's Sword and, I'm thinking Sword and Shield Base. I don't know, let's see. Let's see if we can hit anything. We got Litten. We have a Torkoal, a Young Goose, Rowlet, Cosmog, a Two Cannon. I really, really did like the Reverse Hollows in Sun and Moon. I thought the Reverse Hollows in Sun and Moon were real nice. Oh boy! Can we hit anything? <laughs> we got ourselves a full art trainer. We'll take that. Okay. Nice. I have a full on full art trainer binder or page in my binder. So, uh, yeah, this is going to go right in there. <laughs> Elima. Each player shovels their hand into their deck and flips a coin. If heads, that player draws six cards. If tails, that player draws three cards. Kind of like, a, you know, a precursor to Iono. Kind of, sort of. We'll take that. We'll take that all day long. Very cool. I'm not mad about that at all. All right, there we go. We hit. We hit a beautiful full art trainer. And the texturing on it is super cool. All right, you're going to go in the full art trainer binder faux show okay uh we have one more danny phantom fanny pack mystery pack after this pokemon 151 i've only pulled one special uh illustration rare for myself that's the alakazam ex we gave away 300 packs uh pulled tons of stuff let's see if i can pull something for myself any Mew is going to make me happy because I'm testing Mews in my decks. Any Zapdos EX is going to make me happy. And then any Blastoise SIR, Venusaur SIR, or Charizard SIR is going to make me very happy as well. All right, Pinsir, Bills Transfer, Golbat. Going into an Eevee and a Rapidash and a Whiff Pack. Beedrill, there you go, Breaking Nate Vibes. Fly away, Beedrill, fly away. All right, we have our second pack right here. Four hits out of that, not bad. Uh, this is really cool and like i said he he has said there's three tiers there's the tier kind of like we got right now is just the basic tier and then there's a tier that has a pack in it that's worth a little bit more like uh he was showing you know cosmic eclipse and stuff in his original video and then there's a tier where you can actually get a really nice valuable pack worth maybe 100 bucks or more that's one out of every 25. so let's see what we get in this one will we get the same pack selection or we're we going to get different pack selection so we got astral radiance Paldea Evolved, Obsidian Flames. Oh, Fusion Strike this time. Silver Tempest, Shining Fates. Ooh, Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Hey, very cool. We got an older Sun and Moon pack. Not mad about that at all. This is And so this is cool. It's a different selection of car, of packs. So we didn't get a Pokemon 151 this time, which is okay. Uh, but we got a little bit different selection. I'm not mad about this. Paldea Evolved. There's good stuff in here. All right, let's go for this. Uh, I don't know if this constitutes as like a second tier or if this is the normal tier, but Lost Thunder is still super cool. Uh, I'm going to open that up because it's been a minute since I've opened some Lost Thunder. All right, here we go. Paldea Evolved. Guys, if you made it this far throughout the video, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Smash that like button. It's free for you to do that. It actually helps the channel so much. And comment down below how many hits do you think I'm going to get out of these seven packs? Throw me a comment down below if you've made it to the second Danny Phantom mystery pack in this video. And let me know how many hits you think I'll get out of these seven packs right here. Going into a Jigglypuff and a Tad Bulb, a Gir Giraffe Rig, Great Ball, Grafi Eye, Satitan. I would love a full art trainer. Another full art trainer for the binder would be super cool. Super Rod. Oh, Super Rod is great. So we'll put that over here for the uh, incredibly playables. Primeape and Gyarados. Womp Womp. Another whiff. Very, very cool. I'm always, when I'm opening Scarlet and Violet and stuff like that, I'm always looking for some of the cool playable, like, playable full arts, like golds and trainers that, like, I'd put in my decks. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't normally go out and spend the money, but if I pulled it, I'd, I'd play it. I'm currently playing a Maridon build 
And then I'm testing Zapdos EX and I'm testing Mew EX in. Hey, we got an Ice Pattern Calrex VMAX Gold. Hey, we'll take that. All right, looky there, guys. <laughs> we got another hit. Trainer Gallery 29 out of 30. We'll take Ice Rider Calrex VMAX Gold and a Magnezone with Giga Magnet. Golly, I hate people play these little Magnezone decks from time to time. They are a pain in the thuckus, I tell you. I tell you, pain in the in the in the rear end. But there's your code card. Another hit. Wow, we're not doing too bad. I ain't mad about this at all. We're not doing too bad at all. We got three really solid hits. All right, moving into Obsidian Flames. Come on, Char. I just at this point. I just need to pull with Charizard because I haven't pulled one. I haven't even pulled the regular EX. So at this point, it's like a thing of pride. Like, I just I just want to pull one. Weasel, Bound Sweet, Magnemite, Larvista. Let's, it, come on, Charizard. I, I'm not even a massive Charizard fan. I like Charizard like any other guy. But just to be able to pull one, Lampard and a Scovillian. All right, Scovillian. Scovillian, the bell pepper, spicy bell pepper Pokemon. All right, Silver Tempest. Let's do it. Let's get let's get something cool, Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest is a good set, fun set. We're going into a Finnekin, Sandile, Snorunt, Noibat, Phoebus. Hey, we got a Smeargle Full Art Trainer Gallery. One of the prettiest full art cards or trainer gallery cards, in my opinion. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous card. Do we have a double banger? We got an Amoongus. No double banger for, for me today. No double banger for me today. There's that code card. But yes, the Smeargle is great. I don't know if I have an English copy of the Smeargle in my binder or not. All right, let's see if we get more hit. We got Shining Fates, Lost Thunder, and Fusion Strike. So can we grab ourselves a big hit today? I'm not sure. Um, so I paid $28 for each of these. And I feel like I definitely got my value just in the packs. And I, that's great. Uh, so that makes me super happy. I definitely would buy these from him again. I don't know how often he's going to do these. Hey, we got a Milseri Baby Shiny. Yeah, he has said that he's not really making a ton of money on these. He's just doing it because he wants to provide something cool for the community, which I think is super cool. And so I don't blame him if he doesn't, you know, make a whole bunch more of these. But uh, I definitely buy again. Uh, you know, I think your, your value is there. And somebody like Danny, who has a store, has the ability to, you know, potentially have older packs that he paid a lower price point for that he can, uh, he can put into things like this. All right, going into Fusion Strike, then Lost Thunder. Fusion Strike, such a controversial set Fusion Strike is because Fusion Strike is when Pokemon changed the code cards and messed it up. And Fusion Strike is when modern Pokemon cards started to be able to be weighed. Uh, and then it seems like they just fixed it kind of with Obsidian Flames, but then Pokemon 151 has had some issues. And then we're not sure were the hits stolen from Fusion Strike or not. I don't know. I've never gotten an actual good hit from Fusion Strike. So as far as I'm concerned, they've been stolen because you never really know. Last pack magic, Sun and Moon, Lost Thunder. Uh, not too bad. I, I mean, I definitely haven't pulled $50 worth of cards, but that's kind of the gamble you take when you buy Pokemon cards. It's fun to open. I'm happy with my pulls for real. I really like this full art trainer I got right here. So not not mad about it uh, in the slightest. Uh, and the Cleffa is pretty cool. It has a free, you know, a free attack. Draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand. So that's kind of neat. Let's, uh, Lost Thunder, Sun and Moon. Okay, let's see. Oop, opening up from the bottom. All right. It would be super cool to get something cool from here. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It helps a whole lot. And uh, let's get this last pack magic, Spinarak. Shout out to Danny Phantom for being an awesome content creator and being an inspiration to people like me. Uh, I hope my channel gets as big as his someday. Slowpoke. Oh, we got another Toucan. I swear, I believe the last time, our last Sun and Moon was a Toucan in as well. That's interesting. All right, let's go this way. Uh, uh, ah, and that's a Grand Bull. Boo. Absolutely. Bub kiss. Well, that was fun. Uh, you got some cool cards in here for sure. And the two cannon is pretty, but uh, not bad at all. Uh, very cool. Very happy with the packs. I loved it. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you've ever bought Danny Phantom's mystery fanny packs. And if you enjoyed this video, my friends, check that video right there. I think you'll love it. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you want to see in the world. See you next time.